Starting things out tonight by taking a look at our live Doppler radar. Nothing in the way of rainfall across Ori and Georgetown counties, but as you head far enough away from the immediate coastline from Marion through Ainer, south and east of King Street, uh, right around the Florence area, Hartsville, Camden, Michelville, Michelville that is, and Sumter. There are a few showers around and maybe even a rumble of thunder as well. And as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon into your evening, overnight hours, and right onto your day tomorrow, this is going to be the exact same story. Let's take a look at what's going on in the tropics. As of the latest 5 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center, Tropical Storm Brand is still a tropical storm. Winds are up ever so slightly, up to 45 miles per hour. Still not looking that impressive or healthy on satellite imagery, but you can definitely tell that the warm, uh, the uh, above average waters for this uh, for this time of year are definitely helping to form this storm a little bit, considering there is a massive bubble of, con of uh, convection or thunderstorm activity here that is right around the center of circulation. Once again, that is all thanks to these very warm and above average temperatures for this time of year. Unlike yesterday's video when we were forecasting Brett to become the first hurricane of the season, that is no longer the case. Brett is now expected to remain a tropical storm throughout the rest of its lifetime, becoming a 65 mile per hour tropical storm by Thursday afternoon, going down to a 60 mile per hour tropical storm by Friday afternoon, and then eventually weakening down to 45 miles per hour as we head into your Saturday. And the reason for that, a ton of wind shear is in the Caribbean, right near uh, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and really all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. A very strong uh, trough of low pressure is currently impacting the eastern seaboard. And this is creating a ton of wind shear that is being transported down into the Gulf of Mexico and also into the Caribbean as well. And let me tell you, wind shear is a killer when it comes to tropical depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes as well. And considering Brett is forecasted to head right into all that wind shear, that is exactly why the National Hurricane Center is forecasting Brett to fall in intensity so quickly. But bottom line with Brett, it is no threat to the United States at all. And like I just said, a very strong trough of low pressure is currently impacting the eastern seaboard, drawing in a lot of moisture northward from both the Gulf of Mexico and the southwestern Atlantic Ocean. And really throughout your day tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and really into the upcoming weekend as well, it's going to be stormy. It's not going to rain every single day, or I mean, it's not going to rain all day every single day, but there is a good chance that it will be raining for the majority of the day, especially as we head into your day tomorrow and also for your Thursday as well. Hey, in case you did not know this, tomorrow is summer solstice or the longest day of the year, also known as my birthday. I can't believe I turned 19 tomorrow, but tomorrow is summer solstice. And unfortunately, the forecast for the first day of summer not looking too hot. Scattered showers and storms are likely. Temperatures will be mild, though, topping out right around 81 degrees. And like I just said, the forecast for the rest of this week, not looking so great, all thanks to this very strong area of low pressure just bringing in a lot of moisture to our area. Scattered showers and storms are likely, especially on your Thursday and your Friday as well, top, uh, with temperatures topping out right around 82 to 83 degrees. Scattered showers will become a little less likely as, as we head into your Saturday, but we're still holding on to that very small chance of some showers and or thunderstorms with temperatures topping out right around 82 degrees. Here's your extended 10 day forecast. First off for our immediate coastline friends. And like I just said, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, it is looking stormy. And then we also hold on to that chance of storms for your Saturday and Sunday as well. And then finally we dry out come next week, which honestly looks like a very nice week to say the least. Probably the sunniest guys, temperatures topping out right around where they should be at this time of year. So overall, a very nice week, but over the next three days, you can look for a lot of showers and some thunderstorms as well. Here's your forecast as you head further inland. Beyond Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the, really this whole entire week, much better weather is in store for next week. Look for probably sunny skies. Only a very small chance of rain next Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, we will be dry. High temperatures, though, will quickly warm up into the lower 90s all week next week, but we are in the mid to upper 80s this week. Overnight lows will fall into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Keep it here at Leams Weather for all of the latest information, and I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday.